Hello! In this video, we'll be showing how to deploy a PHP application into Google Cloud's App Engine. Let's get started by going to cloud.google.com and then opening the console. And once there, let's create a new project. Let's assign it a name and then hit on create. I'm going to take note of my of the ID that the cloud assigned it to it. And then we need to get our database set up. Let's go to the navigation panel and then SQL. And after that, let's create an instance. We are going to select MySQL because my application will be connected to a MySQL database. Let's assign an instance ID and a password to the root user. Let's select the region, zone and database. It will take a couple of minutes until the instance is created in Google Cloud. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and export our database. In this case, I will export the database structure and existing records. If you don't want to do that, just click on the custom export and then unselect data. I am also going to take note of my instance connection name because we will use it later. You can also find the connection name here in the overview tab of the instance. Once the instance is ready, we'll be able to create a new database. Go to the databases tab and click on create database. Assign it a name and hit on create. Now we are ready to create our tables and insert our records. In this case, I am going to do it from the cloud shell. However, you can also do it from MySQL Workbench, connecting your local computer to the cloud SQL. We have a video on that, so make sure to follow the link in the description of this video to see how to connect from Workbench to your database in Google Cloud. Once it loads, let's execute this script. gcloud SQL connect and then the name of your instance and after that, indicate that the user is the root user. In this case, if you have created any other user, you can use it as well. Wait a couple of seconds until it prompts you the password and then type it or copy and paste. After that, you will be able to connect to your database. When we check our, when we check our tables, it is empty. So when, now we can go ahead and copy and paste the scripts that we exported from phpMyAdmin. And after a couple of seconds, it will be ready. Now we have tables inside our database. All right, so the database is ready. Now we need to go to our project. In my case, I am going to deploy the application from a folder in my computer. However, you can also deploy a project in GitHub. We'll see an example on how to do that later in the video. As stated in the documentation, the first thing that we need to do is to let the cloud know the settings of our project, which should be placed in a file called app.jaml. This file will contain information about your app code, PHP version, and entry point. We need to indicate which is the version of PHP that we are using. In this case, I'm using PHP 7.2. As stated in their most recent documentation, 7.4 is now beta and 7.3 is stable. Then we need to indicate which is the root of our files. In this case, as you can see, my app.jaml file is in the very same folder as my other website files. That is why in the document read attribute, I am writing a dot to reference the same folder. However, if you have a structure like this one in which your app.jaml file is in a different folder, you will have to write something like this. Then we need to indicate which are the media files that we are including in our application. In this case, I am putting all those extensions so though all of those can be covered and recognized correctly. Then we need to indicate the entry point. This is a really important file because it's the file that the Google Cloud service will use to handle all the requests sent to your website. By default, it will always point to index.php as it is stated in their sample files. However, if your index file is being used for other purposes that is not that set of instructions that the that app engine is expecting, then you may get some weird errors when you are deployed. In my case, I have used my index file as a landing page for my application. So I will need to explicitly define which my entry point is. In this case, I will create a file that will be called handler.php. So I have to write that in the app.jaml file. I have written some sample lines on how the structure of this entry point file should be. Basically what uh, this file is doing is 
performing a switch of all the requests that are sent through URL. And we are telling App Engine how to handle each of those requests. In this case, I am telling I am telling it that if it doesn't send anything in the after the website name, or if it sets index, or if it sets index.php, then it has to point to the file called index.php. Then I also have the same thing for my login page. And you pretty much need to do this for all the files in your project. You also need to know that if your project has any AJAX URL request, you also need to add those here. For example, in, um, in my specific case, I am using AJAX to activate and inactivate some customers. And that is being done through URL code. I also need to add my classes files into the handler. Otherwise, I will get some errors when I try to perform any action related to that. Uh, please note that it's really important to put this, this prefix in your files if you're using Ajax because it will help the cloud to recognize accurately which is the file that you are referring to. Note that if you're using content from any other file like I am using here, in which I am just calling whatever I have in this form, in this file that is in the form folder, that doesn't need to be added into the handler file because that's an internal PHP operation. You only need to add the files here or the pages if it's going to be sent in the URL. So let's save all. And once you have everything ready, it can end up being a really long file. However, it is not the best practice or recommended by Google using wildcards here. Then we need to add some environment variables, which in my case, I will use for user, password, database name, and connection instance name. I am using these four because I am connecting through MySQL I. However, if you're using PDOs, you need the, these three variables except for the database name, which will be included in the connection instance name as being as is being shown in the screen. The sample files from Google include one example on how to connect from PDOs. I will leave a link to that in the description of this video so you can take a look. Remember that you can find the instance name here. Now we need to replace our connection function. In this case, I was connecting to match my PHP, but now we are going to use get environment formulas. So you need to assign that to a PHP variable. Just remember that the text inside the quotation marks needs to be the very same as you have in the environment variables that you have in your app.yaml file. Then I'm just going to replace in the function my user password database and instance name again if you're using PDOs, this is how you should be connecting it is being shown in the screen now we are all ready to deploy the application so let's open the Google Cloud shell the first thing that we need to do is to log in let's uh, type in the command gcloud out login it's gonna get us to uh, a link in the browser then let's allow the permissions and after that we are all set. Then we need to change directory to the folder in which we have our app.yaml file. Also make sure to double check which is the project ID after you log in because for example in my case it automatically connected me to a different project ID that I have so I'm going to change it before moving on. I'm going to double check which is my project ID and after that it was updated correctly and we, now we can move forward. And we are ready to deploy the app by typing in the command gcloud app deploy. It's gonna ask us first uh, which is the, the region. I just selected US Central. So once it's ready, it's gonna give us a quick summary of the deploy process. And then after we confirm, it's gonna start loading all the files. It may take a while depending on, on the specific length of your project. All right, so it's ready and now it is updating the service. Let's just wait a couple of seconds more until it tells us the application is ready. And once ready, you could either type in the command gcloud app browse and it's going to automatically open your application in a Chrome window. Or you can just copy and paste the URL provided by the console. Once we go to the application, uh, we can see it looks good for now. So let's let's try to log in. And actually it's not working. We got a 500 error and I am actually missing a comma here. So I will just add it. The 500 errors are generally related to something in the connection or in the database, for example, an additional space uh, in the password, in the username, in the database name, or it could be that there's a typo in the table names and things like that. In this specific case, I was missing a, semicom a semicolon, so I just added it and let's save all and re redeploy again. In this case, I am going to deploy on a brand new version. It may be that you want to use the same version as 
as as the previous deployment in that case you need to put the very same command gcloud app deploy and after that write the version and the version id if you don't want to promote a ver the, the changes into production you need to add the no promote command in this case for example if you're just testing something and you don't want final users to see it yet this is very useful let's repeat the steps gcloud app deploy and then confirm the deployment and after that just waiting for the file that we just updated to be loaded and once ready we can just refresh the page and let's try to log in again and as you can see it's working we can just start browsing into the application adding a new customer to see if everything is working correctly do some search so yeah now it seems like the application is fully working and that would be it after after fixing the the, the semicolon missing there everything seems to be working fine now going back to the git project we're gonna see how to do the deployment from a project hosted in github let's go back to google cloud platform let's open the navigation panel and then go to app engine then we can open a tutorial and see a project setup there's an example there let's click next and as you can see we have an example on how to deploy from github you just need to enable the cloud shell from the ui in the console google console platform and once it's, it's activated you can execute the script git clone and then the link of your script and then after you clone the git you can just change directory to the actual folder that contains your app that jaml file and after you are that in that location just uh, do the very same step uh, type the gcloud app deployed command and you will be able to instead of loading the files from a local folder it will do it from the github project that you have set up and after that we'll be ready to start browsing in our application built in php that's it for this video we are power gi